We're here with our first major interview at transworldsurf.com. Uh, Kay Kolb, also the world junior champion, ASP. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. You must be stoked, I mean, to have media like this, especially coming at you first. But uh, just let's start from the beginning. This, is a, this has been a long road for you, and this is the pinnacle of a amateur career, pretty much. I mean, where can you go from here, really? Um, hopefully up and get off this crazy QS schedule and maybe surf some real waves and get on the CT. What's it like? How do you uh, how do you get invited or how do you reach this uh, the Billabong Pro Junior? Um, first, you gotta do uh, qualifiers through Hawaii, and um, I did that contest and I didn't even qualify, so I kind of wheezed my way in there. The, the ASP lady got me in, and luckily you got in. And how was the whole event? It was that it's kind of a you've obviously been in six stars and you've been in some pretty big events, but was this one of the bigger events for you? Yeah, definitely. It was, it was a huge event, huge turnout, and. Um, the whole event was WCT based, so it, it was real good, just man on man against everyone, and can be real selective and just punish your guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously you have a. There's a list of guys that uh, have won this event. You know, Andy Irons, Adriano D'Souza. Now they're on the world tour. Is that is that the next step? Hopefully, or you have another year on the QS to qualify? Um. Yeah. I I rated pretty low last year on the QS, so. I'm just trying to get back on my feet and hopefully make a big mark. That's the ultimate dream, the ultimate goal right there. But uh, what about training for this event? You know, I read that you were uh, you took some time off the party circuit to get ready for this one. Yeah, I mean, I got a chick now, so I don't really need to party my ass off yeah. too much. So, yeah, um, just definitely just trying to concentrate on everything and trying to get fit because there's just so much paddling and everything's real mentally and... Um, it's just a long and hard road. Yeah. How many how many uh, flights and airports and all that you've been through this year? Uh, way too many. I don't even know. Just I should pretty much just buy a jet. I'm I'm <laughs> in the goddamn thing. I can half the year. Frequent flyer miles adding up. You bump it up to first class ever? Uh, nope. Never. Just straight up coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, maybe uh, as a little gift, maybe Rip Crow will bump you up to first class on the way back to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that. And uh, let's talk about uh, after you won, I mean, hoisting this trophy over your head, uh, what was the first thing going through your mind? Um, I was just pretty baffled. It hasn't really even hit me until, like, a couple of days later. I was just tripping, just watching all the media and just all the newspapers and everything, like, all over the Internet. Reporters just hitting them up all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, it's all right. So, have you? What's what's? This is just a couple weeks ago or a week ago that you won this thing, right? So, what's your what's your path been from Australia to here in Oceanside? Um, I I just been on like a little bend there, just celebrating a little, you know, with the boys. Spending you know, you have to, you have to. Oh, you gotta do that. It's, you know, it's legit. Yeah. So right after you just hit the pub straight away. Oh yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you been back to Hawaii yet since this? Since winning this? Oh, I haven't. I just can't. I just flew in this afternoon, so. That's the big one, Mililani. Yeah. Go home. Oh, uh, big parade in <laughs> Milani after this. <laughs> no. Hell yeah. Well, what about, like, you know, I mean, back in the day, you know, a amateur surfers, they, they when they won contests, they couldn't get paid. But now we're talking, there's bonuses, there's, you know, big checks to carry home in the board bag. You know, talk a little bit about that. Um, just surfing just growing a lot throughout the years, and. I'm just stoked to see, you know, even the little groms making bank and everything. So I think surfing's headed the the right way. I think actually, just as long as you keep your head straight and not, and don't get too cocky and stuff. So yeah, definitely more money. You get to take a little time off now. Um, nope, nope, no, not really. Straight back into it. What's yeah, next? Flying me straight on an airplane <laughs> to the Marshall Islands and like tomorrow or something. <laughs> <laughs> so this year, now that you've won, it's 2006. We concentrate on six stars, or what's your, what's your like? How you gonna how you gonna make this tour? How you make the WTC WCT? Uh, it's called right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just last year. I kind of burned myself out. Just try to do too much contest. So I'm just gonna try and relax and just take take everything a step at a time and not try and overload myself with so many contests. So. Yeah, hopefully that works. If that does, I don't know 
what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> what do you think of the WCT this year? There's a lot of rookies on there. You know, you, there's probably a lot of your friends that you grew up surfing with. Like, what are you kind of seeing for it? What are the guys that you're going to look out for? Um, it's going to be a crazy, crazy first year, definitely. All the top guys are going to definitely get real rattled from all the newcomers. There's going to be a lot of upsets, I'm claiming, and um, just Fred Patacha and um, Poncho Sullivan. They're going to do big things. Big guys things. right there, for sure. Yeah, big things. Hell yeah. Well, what about uh, any any wild cards in the works? Uh, you know, can we look forward to something like that? I don't know, Dylan. What, what do you think? <laughs> we got Dylan Slade over here from Rip Curl <laughs> giving him some crap. But, uh, you know, we're just we're super happy for you. You know, I'm sure all the Hawaiians, I wish I was going to be there at the party at Mililani. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Congratulations again. Thanks for talking to TransworldSurf.com, buddy. No worries. Thanks a lot.